that I've played the game a lot longer and there's some new characters to talk about, I figured I would update the leveling guides for protector, casters, and fighters. Obviously, this one being the protector guide, but soon casters and fighters will be here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Now, the whole point of these videos is to go over A, what ability you should max first, B, what equipment you should max, and when an equipment is good or not good, and C, my overall rating of the character out of five. And hopefully this is a fun, good time for everyone. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video. And of course, you look fantastic. I'm a doctor! Starting off with Alex Straza, I'm giving her a one out of five. The reason really being that her kit's pretty good. She just needs more dragons to be in the game. As soon as she gets more dragons, she goes from a one to probably about a three or a four. For her abilities, I highly recommend maxing Dragon's Breath. It's just her best ability. Best one by far, to be honest. With other dragons, maybe this changes but it's the most flexible and it just gets a lot better as you upgrade it and it's the only ability you can use on turn one which might be really really relevant for equipment definitely recommend the brooch uh the main idea of this is that it just makes dragon death stronger you can maybe get the middle equipment here as an equipment but you don't really need to upgrade it and i think the amulet is definitely okay but yeah the brooch is definitely where you want to go karen is the next mercenary we're looking at here and currently karen is a five out of five but there is an interaction they are fixing reincarnation at the moment if reincarnation is procced they still get to cast an ability they being karen where after the interaction is fixed if you do proc the reincarnation karen will no longer be able to earth stomp post uh the reincarnation which is a very big deal so karen will go to like a five to probably like a four maybe a 3.5 but i think karen overall is still very strong now for leveling i would highly recommend you level up earth stomp and endurance aura they're both really good like there's no like better one here because they both play on the opposite turn you don't want to start karen on the battlefield definitely a bench mercenary when it comes to equipments obviously it's not even a question reincarnation is too good it's too much stats just the best equipment by far definitely level up Cariel Rome is the next mercenary here and Cariel is pretty decent at the moment she's probably like a 2.5 out of 5 the reason being there's just things or mercenaries that do better than Cariel does but she's definitely not a bad starting mercenary now when it comes to her equipment I would highly recommend you level up the taunt it is her bread and butter when it comes to PvP and PvE it's probably pretty good as well the Crusaders blow like the problem is it's a death blow death blow is not inherently great in PvP so you don't really want that when it comes down to the equipment tome of light is generally just the best one because if you're playing cariel in any comp she is probably taunting turn one which means having a plus attack is just really good like the other equipment don't really change anything about her like sure this is fine sure this could be better but like tome of light is the way you want to go cornelius rome is the next character and when it comes down to cornelius the main problem with him is that he is just a heavy utility mercenary now that doesn't mean cornelius is just bad it's just most of the time he, when he's good it's very niche so i would give him like a 1.5 or a 2 out of 5. the main idea is that like he can't taunt turn one and his first turn is so garbage but if you can get past the first turn and protect something then he becomes a much better character that being said still don't think he's that good for leveling abilities i would highly recommend hold the front and or blessing of sacrifice the mastery doesn't really do anything like he's not going to be attacking too much you're almost going to be cycling between these guaranteed after so not really necessary when it comes to the equipment i would highly recommend you go for shield of dawn i haven't done this personally because i've been leveling other characters but this is just really good the passive is just nuts takes three less damage just strictly that's very good and when it's paired with blessing of sacrifice it just makes it that much better because he's just taking little damage right cornelius okay well, let's move on to the next one garrosh hellscream is the next mercenary and i actually think garrosh is a really good and slightly underrated i think garrosh is like a 3.5 out of 5. garrosh is one of these characters that just has a really good kit and the one thing about him that a lot of people don't know is the amount of health you can get from horde strength and the fact that he can kind of enter a duel with makara is really good battle shout's really strong just because it's super fast but it is a random target but you do get a lot of attack for all your orcs so all of his abilities are good when it comes to actually leveling though i do think horde strength is the best one now the reason for this is because when i think about what garrosh does in pvp you can get 18 life per character with this equipment and obviously this probably answers this question too i think upgrading the tusks is just the best one where horde strength is the best ability you can get upwards of like 150 life 200 and i've actually lost games because garrosh has gotten too much life highly recommend those two also garrosh has some pretty sick skins 
like this one i really wish i had it but i don't so if you have garrosh please start using him he's pretty awesome gromosh hell scream now i think grom is like a one out of five uh, i would potentially do it lower but i don't want to give grom that dirty of a rating the problem with grom is like a lot of his kit is just not good enough like battle fairy doesn't really do anything blood fervor whatever uh staggering slam is fine like blood, if this was a faster ability maybe this would be better but he just feels so weak and because he has a death blow as well it's just not great also why the hell does he not get a faster speed for upgrading this ability i'll never know but with grom i just highly recommend that you either upgrade the staggering slam or the blood fervor probably blood fervor for pve reasons more than anything else because like sure like 12 damage and speed slower is not that bad like it's not bad but like the rest of his kit is so garbage when it comes down to his equipment the sash is definitely fine just deals more damage gore hell is definitely not that bad for pve and the bloodthirst amulet i don't even think it's worth it for battle fury so if you're gonna pick any of them gore hell or sash but i would not recommend using grom in anything he's just not that good and the sad thing is is grom also has a really nice skin feels bad grom Gruel is our next mercenary on the list and i actually give gruel a 2.5 out of 5. now the reason gruel is good is because of the equipment the dragon skull which gives your characters plus fire resistance which is really good in the current metagame and probably will be good throughout his lifespan of mercenaries because there will always be fire abilities in the metagame now this probably answers the question really fast for equipment you probably want to level this up it's just really good until dragons become more popular basically if dragons become very popular gruel gets a lot better but at the moment because there's not a lot of dragons gruel is kind of just in this weird spot for his abilities probably dragon slayer shot or the crazed flurry all of them are okay uh the dragon mob poacher is also pretty decent as well but i think for gruel you don't really want this you definitely want more of the ability to just kill like a diablo or something so that's the main thing going from i will not say this like gruel is not bad but he will get a lot better as there's more dragons coming into the game so there you go king mukla is one of my new favorite mercenaries and i thought he was absolute garbage when i started the game but this is why i'm remaking this video because i think he's a lot better king mukla right now for me is a 3.5 out of 5 just really good overall as a protector and mukla's big brother is a very good equipment and if you're probably asking yes you do want to level this one up this is the best one by far it's not even close you don't have to do anything it's a battle cry you just get a nice taunt in the way it works beyond just beast i absolutely love it for his abilities i think you always want to max banana frenzy no matter what if you're playing a beast comp then highly recommend primal power as an upgrade as well for the king crush but you could actually make the case for all these i think upgrading dinner time is really good too because it lowers the cooldown of this which actually ends up mattering but I'm pretty sure for most people, Banana Frenzies is probably where you want to go for King Mukla. Kurtris Ashfallen is the next mercenaries here. And the problem with Kurtris right now is that there's just not enough demons. So without demons really here, Kurtris is kind of in this weird spot. So at the moment, he's probably like a 2.5 out of 5 for me. Now, that being said, Kurtris is not that bad. He actually has a pretty decent kit overall. Really fast attack, really good healing, especially with the Chaos Amulet. And endless assault as much as i don't like random enemies can be very good because if you do hit a left or rightmost you do gain immune which is quite good now for equipment i do recommend the chaos amulet i just think it's straight up the best one really good against a character like diablo or any fighter because you will heal 36 damage with this which is rather insane where there's other equipment i just i don't think this is really worth it like sure you get plus fell damage but like this is almost the same idea right like i don't think this is very necessary right and then uh passive i mean sure you get more attack and you can't do critical strikes to demons so if demons do get better but chaos amulet just seems the best one for gertrus i'm gonna be very honest i have not played lord jaraxxus i've never seen lord jaraxxus but i will say this jaraxxus has some pretty flame skins so if you have jaraxxus that's pretty sick but generally the problem with jaraxxus is that demons are just way too slow right now and as a rating i would give him a one out of five i would even think he's worse than grom which is not good like you don't want that when it comes to his abilities i just think legion burst is probably the best one i went through all of his abilities and the upgrades and it's the only one that makes any sense to upgrade like fell inferno is definitely not that bad and i don't think it's bad but if like if you're gonna use him and you're running him in a demon comp you have to put him out first he can't be a bench character which means you probably want this to be upgraded and then of course you can either do amulet of outrage to try to get the death blow but again not great you could do the true strike gauntlets to try to make you know fist of Jaraxxus better to maybe go for focus someone and then maybe you get the death blow i don't know i think it's probably going to be falcor though to make your fell infernals better i don't know draxus is just 
not in a good position right now would not recommend leveling this character furian storm rage one of the more notorious nature guys out there right now and i think it's very obvious i don't really have to go through this malfurion is probably like a 3.5 to a 4 out of 5 really carries the nature comp on his back because of his light root staff and yes upgrade the light root staff as the equipment it's the best one by far it just it's so good for sustain and then cesarean surge is the one you want to upgrade for sure just the bread and butter of his entire kit now that being said a lot of his other like equipment is not that bad like you can make the case for this you can make the case for this depending on what you want but like no like it's just always light root staff it's just just good also that has some pretty sick uh skins too i'm really jealous if you have this one or this one don't write in the comments down below it's not very nice manoroth is one of the demon boys and just like jaraxxus would highly recommend not leveling up this character i give him like a one out of five maybe if demon gets better he might be slightly better now the one thing that manoroth really has going for him is the howl of terror which if like there's too many fighters or there's too many protectors that want to swing this can be very strong off the bench to completely negate something now that being said is that ever going to be good enough probably not he does have an anti-heal which is decent but I'm not sure if it's really good enough if we're actual leveling though it would probably be the terror charge or the fell lash both of them are completely fine if you want to run them in more of a demon comp then this one's a little bit better but fell lash will also be just good enough to level up when it comes to his equipment the pit lord staff is definitely not that bad just giving an additional health to your demons is not the worst fell spikes is definitely fine too and the lungs i mean it is really good man like it's good doing damage to minions overall is just great it's an aoe that also reduces their attack fine but i think fell spikes or the staff you could make the case for this i'm not gonna lie his uh, his uh kid is not bad it's just like not great because demons kind of suck demon it's better i think manroth has potential mr smite is one of the new mercenaries that was just released for the dead mines mini set and with mr smite it's pretty much the these two abilities is what you want to upgrade the main idea of smite is either a you want to taunt turn one and get a bunch of attack and that's pretty decent or you want to use overboard against an aoe comp or diablo is probably the main one you want to use so one of these is definitely fine for the upgrading of his abilities but mr smite is really hard to rate and i've tried really hard to think about it because when mr smite is good he's one of the best characters in the game and when he's garbage he just feels so weak so i guess it's a 2.5 out of 5 for his equipment i think it's sailor's cap to be honest because unless you're running him into a pirate comp i don't think either of these are really worth leveling uh it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because pirates are necessary for these so it's probably sailor's cap but i don't think any of these are that great i guess if you're running them in a pirate comp you probably want to do the scabbard or the anchor but i think the cap is probably the go-to ragnaros is our next mercenary and i give reg a 3.5 out of 5. now when it comes to pve he's a 10 out of 5 because he's actually the nuts and the main reason that is die insects basically clears everything with berengeddon and antonitis which is great now when it comes to leveling up his abilities it's very hard to say i think meteor is great because you're often going to bring rag off from the bench if you're starting off with rag then i probably pick magma blast or die insects it really depends on what comp you want to run them in but every single one of his abilities is pretty good for an upgrade so you can't really go wrong for his equipment it's either between sulfurous or it's blazing rune i don't think you ever want to use this because it just doesn't feel necessary this is virtually the same thing but it works with all your abilities where like this is just five more damage on blast which i don't know why they did that but yeah blazing rune is much better Sulfurous is very good too. Uh, giving Rag more health is just very nice. You can do basically both. I don't remember if you have to level this one up, if I'm being completely honest, but if you do, both of these are completely fine. Sneeds is another new mercenary that recently came out, and I'm actually a huge fan of his kit. I think Sneeds is probably about a 2.5 to a 3. Now, the one thing Sneeds has going for him is he's very strong turn one because of extra blades, which you could probably guess is the equipment you want to upgrade, yes. But also, his buzz and his activate saw are pretty nuts if i'm being completely honest i don't think disarm is really worth an upgrade because unless you're going strictly against samaro or some character that attacks doesn't feel that great where buzz is really good especially if you have activate saw active and then activate saw is obviously just very strong so extra place for the equipment and then try to alternate between these two as you're going but i think buzz is the best one especially if you can upgrade this as fast as possible so buzz is as good as possible turn one next on the list is the lich king i'm a huge fan of the lich king but i think he's probably about a three or a 3.5 out of five and the main reason why you want to use the lich king is because of frostmorn and frostbite frostmorn lets frostbite slow the target namers as well which means if you do hit the middle mercenary on the enemy side you permanently make that ability five speed slower which against like malfurion or Zyrella, 
you can kind of just stop them from playing the game and the nice thing is that lich king doesn't even actually have to do damage he just has to swing at them so that's pretty great so definitely want to level those ones up i believe this is just a task seven too you don't actually have to level up the equipment but that's the one you're always going to be using i don't i've never used these ones ever so that's the lich king Thrall is the next one coming up here and thrall is pretty decent at the moment i thought he was going to be a lot better but he ended up not being super great 2.5 out of 5 to a 3. the main idea of thrall is to just be a wind fury beast with doomhammer so this is the equipment you want there's no and if or buts here this is the equipment you need get this for thrall he becomes so much better basically double what he was before of not having doomhammer if we're leveling up i think for the horde is definitely the one you want to go against a fighter it does a lot of damage per swing you could probably one shot a fighter just with thrall and i think that's pretty good he also has some pretty nice skins which i do not have so don't write them in the comments down below thank you last on the list is varian rin and i have not really used varian rin but i do know basically what you should be leveling but out of five i give varian probably like a two out of five now if humans become better kind of like alex he will jump up because he does have a pretty decent kit for it but that's his main problem is just not enough good humans for what he wants to know now i think you definitely want to live, level up heroic leap it just makes the most sense it it's fast ability it makes your other humans faster it's pretty simple you can make the case for retaliation too but i just don't think it's that great compared to heroic leap and then for equipments it's really hard honestly i looked at through all of them i do think this one's very good because just passive stats is always like pretty decent bounty boots is definitely not that bad or bounty boots sorry because it does make his heroic leap do more damage which will be probably the skill you level up first war banner is definitely not that bad either if you want to go for that but i think it's probably the boots or the i don't know this is chalamane i guess that's what it's called also varian has some pretty nice skins which i do have so suck it that's the end of the protector guide as more protectors are added into the game i will continuously update these so you guys are updated as much as possible maybe for the next time i do these i'll probably only focus on the newer characters because there's not really a point to keep going back unless something has changed completely thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one